1776 is trying to very clearly say that Rel and Josh were excommunicated from the cult, but let's see how they were responded to when they arrived last night. 20, 20 pound plate yeah. with my backpack. Rel, it's there! What's happening here? <laughs> yeah, this, there's a longer segment here. I'll have that link. Also, I want to just look at this here. So, Santa is meeting with his tax attorney. Yes, you heard that right. He's going to be meeting with his tax attorney. For those that don't know, Santa is $85,000 in debt to the IRS by his own admission. I wonder what his tax guy has to say about the money coming in from 1776. And then, of course, he mutes it and comes back to talk about how they are a Christian movement. Full stop. Stop pretending. The, the cult is solidifying themselves down as a Christian cult. They were trying to say all religions are welcome. He's still saying that. You just got to follow the Christian cult. Now, of course, Santa tries to deflect and says he was the one threatened recently. So, you know... Think of that at when you think of last night, I'm sure. Also, uh, 1776. Uh, yeah, they got a new article for the Washington Post. I'll link that. Uh, after the People's Convoy disbanded, this offshoot headed to D.C. They're literally always just referred to as a member of the People's Convoy for obvious reasons. And uh, yeah, I'll just add in here, there is a Q reference in the morning meeting. Uh, Santa also says that they are not going into dc tomorrow that this is basically the last day they'll use the permit this is the final day uh he now is going to, of course we will come back during the next three weeks next month and uh maybe visit the capitol or protest because other people do it you know just having you know field trips when they leave their parking lot appears to be basically the plan because if they don't have the field trips you know, people are going to leave, but how often do they need to have field trips when they're talking about a three-week boot camp on the Constitution that none of them have actually read before? Uh, speaking of reading, Santa encourages people to get the audiobook of The Art of War. He hasn't read it, but he likes the quotes. 